standing here on a spot, friends, where beautiful and tragic history was made. This here is the corner of Miwa Street and Zamenhofa Street in Warsaw. This is a site of the Warsaw Ghetto Uprising. In 1943, the SS, the Germans, who thought they were the master race, they thought that they would slaughter the Polish Jews. They barricaded them, they shelled them, they sent in tanks. But these Jewish civilians, Marek Edelman, great hero, battle commander, he was a cardiologist. There were tailors, there were shopkeepers, there were civilians, there were Jewish people of all stripes. These were civilians. The SS sent in their elite troops to exterminate the Jewish people in the ghetto because the Jewish people had resisted being sent to Treblinka and they thought that they had nothing better to do than march in. Let me read from the book The Ghetto Fights by Marek Edelman. This is wonderful. And we see here an example of how the mighty fall. Now the SS men were ready to attack. In closed formations, stepping haughtily and loudly, they marched into the seemingly dead streets of the central ghetto. Their triumph appeared to be complete. It looked as if this superbly equipped modern army had scared off the handful of bravado drunk men, as if those few immature boys had at last realised there was no point in attempting the unfeasible, that they understood that the Germans had more rifles than the resistance had rounds for their pistols. But no, they did not scare us. We were not taken by surprise. We were only waiting for an opportune moment. It soon arrived. The Germans chose the intersection at Miwa and Zamenhofer streets for their bivouac area, that's here. And battle groups barricaded at the four corners of the street open, opened concentric fire on them. Strange projectiles began exploding everywhere. Homemade hand grenades. The lone machine pistol sent shots through the air now and then. Ammunition had to be conserved carefully. Rifles started firing a bit further away. Such was the beginning. The Germans attempted a retreat, but their path was cut. German dead soon littered the street. The remainder tried to find cover. The glorious SS called in tanks, under the cover of which the remaining men were to commence a victorious retreat. But even the tanks seemed to be affected by the Germans' bad luck. The first was burned out by one of our incendiary bottles. The rest did not dare approach our positions. The fate of the Germans fought in the Miwa Street, Zamenhofer Street trap was settled. Not a single German left the ghetto alive that day. Friends, this is where it happened this year. This is a monument to the fighters uh, from the Jewish resistance, civilians, all of them. We turn around here and we see one last piece of the, 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 the architecture of Miwa Street, one large stone there, and this mound, and this area here, 100 Jewish Polish resistance fighters. And we've come here today to, to learn from history, to learn from heroism, to be inspired. When people say, oh, well, you know, you must pick your battles, you should choose your battles carefully. There's no point fighting unless you think you're going to win. That's the coward's way and that's the bully's way, but it's not the hero's way. If we want to know the hero's way, we learn from real heroes. Marek Edelman tells us in this book, they knew they were going to die and they decided to stage the uprising in order to pick the day and the style of their death. That's why a slow death versus a quick death. The great anti-Zionist socialist hero Marek Edelman, a hero for the Polish people, a hero for the Jewish people, a hero for socialists across the world. And let me tell you this friend, whether you're black, white, Chinese, I don't care, he's your hero too. Because this is a man who's a hero for freedom. We salute him. Solidarity, Marek Edelman.